Hi, I'm Kathy Thomas. Joining me today will be the executive chef, co-owner of Slapfish in Huntington Beach, Andrew Gruel. And Andrew has a delicious twist on Vietnamese sandwiches. Welcome, Andrew. Tell me about your great sandwich. So this is a fun, whimsical take on a traditional sandwich. We love putting seafood into good old, uh, you know, kind of crave-worthy, handheld sandwiches. What's great about this is it can all be done in one pan. I it's like a that. quick dish. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna gently season the fish here. And this is our yellowtail, incredibly sustainable, well-managed seafood. And we're just gonna... So as the fish is cooking, we can prepare the salad for mm -hmm. the inside of the mm -hmm. sandwich. We're gonna start with just slicing some cucumbers, very simple. We have carrot as well. We're gonna slice these into very simple julienne strips. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is just you know a rustic, simple sandwich. We have here is our jicama, which I think is a great alternative to a daikon radish. It's very, very refreshing, a little starchy, and it adds mm -hmm. a nice bite to the sandwich. Mm -hmm. We're gonna cook the fish for about two minutes on each side, which is gonna caramelize the exterior and create a little bit of browning, which is beautiful flavor. If the fish sticks in the pan, which it is here, that's fine. We, we actually don't mind that because we're gonna make a sauce right here in the pan and all the juices are gonna mix with the fish and the foundation that's stuck to the pan to create more flavor. It just seems stress-free. It, it's, you cannot mess this up. Right. It's like playing basketball and the net is the size of the court. Now to the spice, the mm -hmm. jalapeno. What I like about the jalapeno is the flavor, but if you don't want the heat level to be too high, we'll cut the seeds out of the jalapeno. And we'll do that in the strips as well. On to the sauce. So it's the fun part, the sauce. <laughs> We're gonna add a little bit of tomato juice. We add a little red wine vinegar. Some sweet chili sauce. A touch of sugar. To pull it together, we're gonna add a little bit of Dijon mustard as well. We want this to all fall apart together. Almost, almost braising with the yellowtail. Chef, this just smells so delicious. This is one of those dishes that you cook at home and everyone walks in the door and mm -hmm. they think, oh my God, I'm, I wasn't hungry when I walked in, but I am now. All right, the salad. First, toss it up with a, a good healthy amount of salt, mm -hmm. which is gonna immediately start to draw some of the moisture out and create the base of the dressing. Then, I like to add whole fresh cilantro. Now, I'm just gonna finish it with a little bit of white wine vinegar. We're gonna just toss this up gently. We want this to be rustic. We're not even gonna cut this bread. We're just gonna tear it into pieces here. I'm gonna just do a, a light layer of mayonnaise. This is great, you just go wild. This is part of the charm of Vietnamese cooking because you've got all these beautiful raw ingredients with the cooked ingredients, so you have that contrast in flavor and texture. And if you had vegetarians coming for lunch, they'd be happy with this. You stop right there, right. stop right there. But not for us, we're gonna have some of this beautiful fish. Delicious. Chef Andrew, we really appreciate it. I appreciate you letting me cook this in your kitchen. Here's a quick tip from Melissa's. Fruit salsa adds vibrant flavor to everything from grilled meats to grains. And it's easy to do. We're going to be combining fresh nectarines with fresh mango. That's a start. So in goes the diced nectarine, the diced mango, some diced cucumber, and this is the hothouse cucumber, so I didn't need to seed it. Some diced red bell pepper, and some minced fresh jalapeno chili, canned black beans, and some chopped cilantro. And now we need to add some acid, some beautiful citrus juice. So we've got fresh limes that we're just squeezing out. And I'm gonna give this a toss and a taste. A little salt, a little toss. Mmm. It's delicious. So on goes the salsa. And we're just putting this on the top of some cooked brown rice. What a delicious meal that would be. Nectarine, mango, and black bean salsa.